Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 2, Shadows of Amun. Last episode we did some more dungeon delving through a crypt. Found out that a Book of Kazaa was stolen, so we need to do something else for that uh, barbarian and go to another district. And uh, this little boy ran up and told Minsk, hey can you come help? Our village is kinda dealing with problems. And we can't even get to the Umar Hills, it seems. Or maybe we can, I, I don't know. I was going to go to the Darnese Hold, but I was just told that uh, the quest we have for Anaman right now is timed. So I guess we need to go to the government district, because I don't like missing things. I don't know how long we have, and I don't know how long it'll take to get to these things. So let's head over there right now, shall we? Oh, I hate timed quests in other agents. So annoying. Oh, well, let's see. Government district, what have we got? Velova Estate, Temple of Joaquin, Ronal Estate, Prison, Fire Cam Estate, Government Park, Council of Six Building, District Exit, Delrin Estate, Daryl Estate, Gistev Estate, District Exit. All right. Well, we've got a few things around here, including a few estates. I guess we'll go through here and see what we can find. Not gonna steal things from these estates. It doesn't appear to be anything in Oh wait, what's in this? I can actually investigate this? There's nothing in there, okay. I will do my best. <sighs> that one is locked, okay. This one is a temple. And I was yes. just informed that there's another thing that's timed as well. Wonderful. Priest of Joaquin. I trust you are here in good faith. Welcome to this altar devoted to a mistress of coin, Joaquin. Uh, she who smiles on all who trade. Is there something I might do for you? I thought Joaquin was dead. How can you still worship her? Dear boy, Joaquin is not dead. She is missing. The goddess of joy, Lyra, grants power to her worshippers in her stead for now. Some have abandoned our mistress for the god of caravans, Shandakul, and others, but there are many who wait patiently for her return. I have faith. Joaquin is Amun's patron, and when she returns, all that has ailed us will fade. You shall see. I've never thought of trade as something you could worship. I am sure that there are many who think as you do, dear boy. How then do you explain all the good that trade has brought to the realms? Wondrous cities have been built. Communications go between cultures throughout Toril, all because of trade. Without it, we would still be living in caves. To many who ply trade, there is nothing more important in the world. Fortunes are made and lost under Joaquin's auspices. I'd like to see your services. Of course. The Joaquin are, are always willing to serve. At a fair and honest price, of course. Well, also, identify that, please. Thank you. And you have various potions and the like. Druid's ring. Charm animal. Okay, don't need that. But thank you. We don't need anything else. Pretty nice temple, in all honesty. Now, please come on. Pretty please. Shush, Lilarcor. Very well. Glory of all. all right, let's see here. Be merry, friend. Greetings. You are known to me, or your deeds are known to those I serve. I think I should introduce myself. I am Madin. I represent one of the masters of the Atkatlan Order of the Cowled Wizards. He seeks to employ you in a matter of some urgency. The Cowled Wizards. They are the ones that arrested Imowen. I would be very interested in speaking to them about that. I do not know anything about that. I represent one of the wizards, as I said, a master Tolgarius. Perhaps you could speak to him of this, Imowen. Very well. How do I go about meeting this Tolgarius fellow? He will be most pleased. Master Tolgarius can be found in the government building behind me. You may go within. 
Do not tarry over long, my friend. Okay, then. Meet with... Here we are. A man by the name of Madin has told me of a cowled wizard who wishes to hire someone to perform a service for him. The wizard's name is Tolgarius, and he can be found in the main government building in the government district. Okay, then. I think we can do that. We need to go in there anyway to get permission to cast spells. Done. Well, there's Tolgarius. There's a lot of named people here. Oh, boy. Corneal. Speak up. Speak up. What is it you wish? You're obviously out of place here, so unless you are pressing business, I am very busy and do not wish to be bothered by such as you. Might you help me? I have an interest in those taken by the cowled wizards. What happens to those taken by the cowled wizards is not for decent people to know. No magic user goes unknown, and all may pass through here, but that information is not for you. Ooh, Good day. Speak up, speak what is your purpose up. here? What branch of the government are you with? If it is any of your concern, I am saddled with clerical upkeep of mystical regulation. Magic is restricted in this land, and rightfully so. Mages are dangerous deviants. But I've seen plenty of mages in this city, and they don't seem to have any trouble from the cowled wizards. I'm sure you are mistaken. The mages you speak of are either members of the cowled wizards, or have proven themselves <coughs> worthy of a license to use their magic here in the city. So how do you prove yourself worthy of a license? Well, for one, you must make a monetary sacrifice. After that, we allow you to use magic in the city. Should you prove to be a deviant, you lose your rights. And just how much is this monetary sacrifice, exactly? 5,000 gold pieces, no less. And should you prove unworthy of the right to use magic in Armin, your coin is not returned. Fine, then, here you go. Ah! I see. Very well, then, my lord. You and your companions will have the right, for now, to cast magic within the city. Do not abuse the privilege, or you will lose it. Okay, that's settled. Now, Tolgarius. I am one of the few who are chosen. Ah, uh, yes. I see Maldin has proven to be his faithful self as usual. How do you do, my lord, considering the city is so harsh on strangers, eh? Perhaps Maldin has let slip a little of what this is about? No? Hmm. Well, yes, I do have something I would like you very much to do, if you would care to hear it. First, I would like to know where Imowen is. Imowen! Ah, the girl arrested along with the wizards. I do not have such inconsequential information on me, so put aside such demands. Hmm. If I must. But you put me in a difficult position, asking for a commitment to a task I know nothing about. Yes, it is a lot for even I to ask, eh? You are more than capable of performing this task, and it will conflict with none of your current loyalties. And you would garner the goodwill of the cowled wizards, not to mention a substantial rewards. But if you are determined to refuse, I certainly cannot stop you. I would know more of this reward before I agree. The reward. Adventurers have much use for items the cowled wizards hold. It is sad that magic is so despised in Athkatla, for it has many uses. We will offer you an item of substantial magical power, as well as a good deal of, good coin, of gold coin. But again, I must have your word on the matter before I continue. If that's how it must be, then I agree. You have my word. Excellent. Your agreement means that the cowled wizards shall hold you to your word. This matter, this matter must be handled with discretion and expediency. There is something that has been plaguing us for more than a week now and has become quite alarming. You know of the prevailing attitude against magic here in Amun, yes? Well, among some, it is even worse than that. A burning, palpable hatred. One particular man here in Athkatla has murdered two of our number in cold blood. He is currently in hiding, and we need you to track the fellow down. We have been unable to do so, much to our frustration. Cowled wizards cannot be assaulted without repercussions, or it will lead to... serious problems. Who is this murderer, then, and how am I supposed to track him down when you have failed? He is Valigar Korthala, last son of a wealthy family and a true brute. Ask around, and you may discover if he is hiding within the city or someplace else. He has a home in the Darks District, or he may have fled to the Umar Hills. His friends and servants will not speak to us, but they may to you. And just what am I supposed to do with this Valgar fellow once I find him? I am no murderer, despite my parentage. 
We do not ask that you commit any murder. We wish Valley Guard to be delivered to us, that is all. He will likely resist, so if you must kill him, so be it. Well, surely all murderers must be brought to task. I wonder what manner of justice the cowled wizards would apply. It is something to consider. But if you do kill him, I simply must have his body. Valigar must be delivered to us whether he is dead or alive. You understand? Tell me more about this Valigar. F uh, is there anything else I should know? There is nothing I can think of. Perform your promised task and the cowled wizards shall be pleased. Very well. I will hunt this murderer down and return him to you. You gave your word, so I expect nothing less. I await the sight of this murderer's body soon. Well, we, uh, I'm pretty sure that he is going to be in that, uh, in the Umar Hills. Larsh, let's see here. Do not touch yes, me. what is it? Can Can't you see that I'm bu quite busy? Who are you? Well, you can't be a local, that's for sure. You are looking at the official Herald for Athkatla, Keeper of Family Crests and Records. Now beat it. Wait, I have something to need to ask for you about. Oh? What is it? Be quick. I have a letter from you to Valigar Corthala, mentioning taxes that are due on his property and land. I need to know where his land is. Corthala, Corthala. Oh, yes, I do remember that. I can give you the information, but the fee will be a hundred gold pieces. Very well, here it is. Great, great. Let me flip through my files here. One second. Ah, yes. Mm, I've forgotten about that. Seems this Corthala family is related to the wizard Lavok. Oh, how dreadful. Lavok? Who's that? Lavok, yes. Powerful sorcerer or some such from about five centuries ago. Has something to do with that big silver sphere that appeared in the slums, if you haven't seen it. I see. Tell me about the land, then. According to the files here, the Corthala family has a wee bit of land in the Umar Hills area. Dreadful area. Likely isn't worth much all forested up as it is. Umar Hills, you say? Well, thanks for the information. Yeah, whatever. I'm still a busy man, so beat it. Okay. We'll be going to the Umar Hills eventually. Glory of Arm. Okay, and we have more people with names. Let's see. Lord Ketlar Argrim. The glory of Arm. I'll heed no mm. Mm. Yes, you'll do. Yo, the pretty elf there. I need a new mistress, and I think you'll do nicely. Not... Not in a million years, you foul beast! Frederick Lionheart, let's get him away from him, please. Oh, boy. Council Secretary quick, Wen. So be brief, the Ma the Maesark, the highest of the council, is currently at Ryatavin, dealing with the rebellion, according to my knowledge. Okay. By Lana. You are more than welcome in Good business to you. Is there aught that I can help you with? Who are you? I am the magistrate of Atkatla, by Lana Ianulin. Why, is that of interest to you? A friend of mine, Imowen, was taken captive by the cowled wizards for using magic in the city. Is there anything I can do to free her? I see. But your friend used magic within the city limits. You are aware that this is a violation of Amun law? We do not allow magic uses to go unchecked. Hmm. But how long is she to be imprisoned? Imowen is no evil sorceress. It has been our experience that magic corrupts. Did you see the result of your friend's battle in the promenade? An entire section collapsed! The cowled wizards will have taken your friend for... rehabilitation. And she will not be released until that process is completed. But Imowen wasn't responsible for what happened in the promenade. That was another wizard. We got there at the end of the battle. Another wizard or your Imowen, it matters not. She used magic. The cowled wizards cannot stop to sort out who was directly responsible for the damage. But if this Imowen you speak of is a good and responsible user of her abilities, then... then I imagine that her rehabilitation would not take long. What is this rehabilitation you're talking about? How long does it normally take? It would... well... Oh, I will not lie to you, sir. We do not normally concern ourselves over much with the prisoners that the cowled wizards take. For the most part, these magic users they capture are dangerous or psychotic. Protecting us from these people is a valuable service. 
if if they have taken someone out of zealousness because she was a maid present as a major magical disturbance, well, I can do nothing. The cowled wizards are not under our command. They do us a service, but they do as they wish. Their prison is a secret even to us, as are their methods. I am sorry, my good man, but there is truly nothing that we can do for you. Hopefully the cowled wizards will see their error and release your friend. You are more than welcome, my son. What can you tell me about the war between the thieves' guilds that I've been hearing about? I am aware that another guild of thieves has supposedly arisen to challenge the Shadow Thieves, but my only concern is the safety of my city. Thievery must not run rampant, and I do not wish for innocents to be hurt by their war. Beyond that, I don't see how this is your concern, my dear man. I see. Corgeg Axehand. Is there a reason you are here? You should make an appointment to request an audience, or speak directly with Officer Roanoff. He serves well as liaison to the nobility. Sorry to bother you, I was just looking around. As you will, but you may not be allowed access to some areas. This is the heart of government, after all. And Jeremiah Jamtos. You're rather outlandish folk to be wandering round here. I've been sent from one person to another for six weeks now. Does nobody actually do anything here? Well, it's the government. How often do people actually do things? And we've got Chief Inspector Brega. Is there something that you need, citizen? Who are you? Chief Inspector Brega at your service. I work under the magistrate investigating the crimes of this city. And there are plenty that require my attention, believe you me. I am told that magic is illegal in Ethkatla. Is this true? The use of magic is illegal unless sanctioned by the council. Like the cold wizards are. It leads to chaos. Just look at the damage in the promenade. What happens to people who are arrested by the cold wizards? The handling of magic users is not my province. Only the cold wizards know for sure. What matters to the council is that they deal with it. Where can I find the cold wizards, then? Oh, you don't! Nor would I suggest attempting to do so. The cold wizards are dangerous. I would pray that, you do not dis that they do not discover your interest. Do you know anything about the incident in the promenade you mentioned? The cold wizards arrested two magic users. Shadow Thieves were also involved, apparently attacking one of the wizards. Beyond that, uh, no, I know very little. Why would the Shadow Thieves be interested in attacking a wizard? <sighs> I don't know. Why don't you ask them? Is there something that you need? To uh... My friend Imowen was taken by the cowled wizards. Do you know where she is or where I could get help? If you ask me, those damnable wizards have far too much leeway to come and go as they please. The council gave an inch, and they took the proverbial mile. And that also means, regrettably, that we can do nothing if we oppose their actions. And still, the council deludes itself, thinking the cold wizards obey them. Bah, you'll know better, I'm sure. Allowing those wizards to take a man indefinitely, or worse, for casting a magic missile is hardly justice in my eyes. But I can't help you or your friend. Nobody knows where the wizards keep their prison, either. All I can sp say is speak to the magistrate, by Lana Yonalin. She is in this room, but I doubt she can help much either, despite what she might suggest. I... I'm sorry. I hope the Simuin is well and the wizards take pity. Is there something that you need, citizen? Perhaps you could tell me about the war between thieves' guilds I'd heard so much about. There is little we can do. The Shadow Thieves are entrenched and this new guild has more power than I expected. Both, however, are adept at avoiding authority. The best we can hope is to prevent the city going up in flames in the meantime. And that whichever of them remains will be weak enough to push out. If you're thinking of dealing with either, don't. A number of bodies have turned up, recruits by either side. I'm sure you don't want to end like that. So take heed and stay off the streets at night. I'm sure this will be over soon enough. Maybe, but at the same time, I don't know. I still have some time to spare here. Oh, goody, it's raining. Okay, let's see. So that's the district exit. Here's some named people. Be gone, commoner. I have my own. Mm, you've lovely features there, girl, for an elf. Such lovely blue eyes. Perhaps I will forget about Oriana, and the two of us shall go somewhere together, yes? Hmm. I'd rather see you go somewhere with your toady there. Uncle Quail warned me well enough about dirty old men like you. Lovely. I I have no, nothing to wish. Me? I'm I'm nobody, I'm just a toady. As you say. Okay, 
Okay, that door's locked. Okay, mistake. Delrin Estate. That's actually where we need to go. So, let's head there and see if uh, we can do something with Anaman. Declare yourself. Lord Anaman. Welcome home. Your father waits within. He is in the kitchen, deep in drink. He is angry with me? Yes, my lord. Nothing has changed. When your sister died, things became worse. I'd expected as much. Let him vent his bile on me if he so wills it. I am not the child that I used to be. Frederick Lionheart, let us enter. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Alright. There's Cor Delrin. Oh, he's who we're supposed to speak with. <laughs> the prodigal son returns. Heir to his mother's foolishness as always. Well, let me ask you, how far have you roamed, son, running away from me? Speak not of my mother, drunkard. You were never worthy of being her husband. Yet I was, and your father as well. Never forget that, boy. Your mother would still be alive if your children weren't such a handful. Shut your mouth, father. We've had this conversation before, and I've not the patience to listen to it again. You will listen to whatever I choose to tell you, Anaman. Respect your father, Nightling. I am still the man of this family, and you will obey me. Yes, father. I lost my temper, and I apologize. It took you long enough to get here. It wouldn't hurt you to come and see your father now and again. Father, where is Moira, your daughter? What happened to her? Idiot boy, she's dead! Murdered by the Kalashite fiends! How did this happen? How do you think? It was Serk the Kalashite. It was not enough for him to take my business, he had to take my Moira too. But why would he kill her? She has nothing to do with your enmity. Do you understand nothing? He killed her because he could. For years I embarrassed him amongst the merchants, undercut his prices, and stole his customers. When my business failed, he had a monopoly on the Kalimshan shipping routes. He would not be happy until I had nothing. By the end, Moira was all that I had, and now he's taken her too. Where were the guards? Why was she not protected? The guards left months ago. I had no money to pay them with. Soon I will lose my house as well. Serk has taken all of it. All of your mother's and sister's things. He didn't take it, father. You lost it. You lost it. I lost it because you abandoned your family. If you hadn't run away, Moira would still be alive. You should have been here to protect her. To save her from the brigands. I'm sorry, I... I did not know. You should have been here, Anaman. Never forget that. It's too late to save her, but your work is not yet finished, Anaman. What can be done? Moira is dead. She can be avenged, Anaman. You must kill Serk and his son. It is the only way that Moira's spirit can be at rest. If you are friends, they would do well to help you, for Serk the Kalashite is a very wealthy man, and his gold shall be their reward. I must see Moira's remains first, father. It will take but a moment. Go, then. She was cleansed on the pyre, and her ashes are kept in an urn by the pool. She was a place that Moira loved most of all. Frederick Lionheart, come with me to Moira's urn. I would speak with you. Very well, I shall follow you. This way. I am well worried by what has gone on in this place. Though the choice seems clear and right, I am hesitant to take it. There are many who easily sidestep laws through wealth. Perhaps in this case it would be best to see why the law has failed so. To decide between justice and honor. Oh, it is a conundrum that would tie even Boo up in knots. I do not envy you. My decisions are usually easier than this. Surely if Ser killed my sister, I must avenge her murder. Yet killing for the purpose of revenge is, of, is murder by the tenets of the order. I know not what to do. Hmm.
Do not let these thoughts of vengeance cloud your judgment. Killing for revenge is murder. Serik must be brought to justice, and you must be the one to ensure that it is done. What you say holds truth, yet, as my father says, I am honor-bound to find my sister's killer and take his life. You are honor-bound to the vows you made to the Order. The path you are considering is evil, Anaman. Do not take it. Aye, this is right. I feel it in my bones. I've lived under the bitterness of my father's spirit my entire life. It has tainted me to the point where I am willing to partake in it. He can keep his hatred and drown his sorrows as he has always done. Yet the question of my sister's murder remains. To be honest, I'm not sure that I trust your father's version of events. All that he speaks of seems to be colored by his hatred of Serk. They have always been mortal enemies. If my sister was indeed murdered, then the magistrate would have investigated. My father's revenge be damned. I have sworn to uphold the law, and unlike him, I shall do so. Come, let us return to my father. He may yet be convinced to follow the lawful path. It is not my place to take revenge. Such an act would lead to chaos. What is it? You have seen the lifeless ashes of your sister, Anamin. Let not this terrible act go unpunished. Gird thy heart with righteous anger and slay thy sister's murderer. Nay, father. It is time for this foolishness to end. What do you mean to say, Anamin? Only that killing Sarek and vengeance would be murder as surely as my sister's death was. The destruction of evil is never considered to be murder. Do not these knights that you seek to join take such missions themselves? Not in the manner that you suggest. We must take these charges to the magistrate. This is the only way to end this circle of violence that you have trapped us within. You fool boy, the magistrate will do nothing. She is a pawn of Serk. By Lana Ion Ionolin is a good and noble woman. You said this yourself before you slipped into the foul clutch of the drink. You dishonor Moira's memory. You would allow the killer of your sister to go free? You're despicable. You're an insect. I will not allow him to go free. He shall be taken before the courts if he is indeed the one who murdered my sister. How can you doubt such a thing, boy? Serk is the killer. Do you have proof, father? The proof lies in the fact that he has taken everything else from me. Killing Moira will def complete my defeat. Aye. Now I see. Such has always been the case in this household. This is about you and only you. Your daughter's death means nothing beyond how it affects your pride and your comfort. Boy, you've fallen in with evil. Step back from the line and honor your family before it's too late. I will not, father. I suggest no evil. I suggest the lawful path. Again, I say, obey me, Anamen! I have obeyed you all my life and received naught but bitterness in return. My friend and I shall take this matter to the Magistrate, as the law requires. If you step out that door, then you must never come within again! Don't do this, Father. Shut your mouth! If you leave now, you are forever banished from this place! You will be cast from this family and become a nameless dog, not fit to cower at my feet! I have been cowering at your feet for all my life. Goodbye, Father. Perhaps I shall see you again before you drink yourself to death. You are nothing, boy! Nothing! Come, Frederick Lionheart, let us leave. We should go and see the Magistrate and the Council of Six building and see if anything can be done, despite Father's venom. And so we shall. First, though, let's just loot the rest of the, the rest of his house. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe there's something... Ooh, an Identify Scroll. What do you need? Yoshimo? Lead a foot and all that. Thank you for the unlocking. We've got... Ruby Ray of Reversal. Interesting. And a ring. Okay, ring goes in here. What is Ruby Ray of Reversal? Spell is one spell protection of any level affecting the target creature. Eh, I don't need that. Alright. Well, we'll step outside, and with that, I'm going to have to end this episode here. Next episode, we'll go speak with uh, the person on the council. Then we'll look through the rest of this place, although I don't know how much more we have to look through. And then, 
Since it was suggested, I guess I think I'm going to end up having to go to the bridge district. Oh boy. I'm getting forced through all these districts on timed quests when there's something I want to do that I was told I should do as soon as I can. Oh, I hate timed quests. I hate them so much. That'll be in the next episode. So, until then, I'm Chester44. That is Frederick Lionheart, Minst, Anaman, Jahera, Yoshimo, and Eri. This has been a Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 2, Shadows of Amun. And I shall see you all next time.